Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why I quit data engineering. Yes, the first few years of my career, I actually worked as a data engineer and ended up transitioning out of data engineering. And I wanted to dedicate this video to talk about what are the four reasons that basically led me to transition out of the data engineering job family. And before I go into details as to what I left, why I left, I do wanna say that data engineering is a great job family. This is not my way of being negative about the role. If you enjoy doing that, that type of work, that's great. This is the things that I'm gonna share. It's personally based on my experience. So I just wanted to provide my POV in terms of why I chose to leave. Um, and for those who don't know me, I actually um, have been working in the data industry for about nine years now. And yeah, I started my first job as a data engineer. If you like content in today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more data science content, data uh, career related content and everything else in between. All right, so let's jump into it because I really want to keep this video short. <laughs> I realize because I do not use a script and I realize I keep talking and it ends up being really long and that increases my editing time period. So let's hope I keep this video short. So a little bit of background, I actually transitioned to data engineering from a non-tech background. So a lot of learning for me came on the job and I was lucky in the sense that I had a supportive group of people around me who were willing to be my mentors and who were willing to teach me. And um, my first reason for leaving data engineering was plain and simple was that I got bored. I worked as a data engineer for about two plus years and I realized that a lot of the work that I end up doing is pretty repetitive. In that team, I was working at a big tech company, fan company, <laughs> um, as a data engineer and I was supporting multiple teams um, and I quickly, and the way my, our projects would work, I would work with one team working on one project and then I would move to a different team and they understand their data needs and I'll build data pipelines, um, design data pipeline and build it for them. So basically from, from whole like designing part of it to like creating the ETL process, like extract, transform and load. And in some cases I would also end up doing dashboarding as well after building the data pipeline because there was not um, any data analyst in that team. And I quickly realized when I moved from project to project to project that the work is actually pretty similar from project to project. Uh, maybe it was just my team, but from my experience, I realized like I was doing the same thing over and over and over again, which to some point it became pretty repetitive that I started getting bored. Um, and um, for me, like that was a clear sign that I'm actually not growing in that not growing a lot and instead of, I'm actually getting bored and not excited to get to work. So for me, like that was kind of like a clear indicator that I do not want to continue with data engineering as a, my career long term. The second reason which I think I learned, it was more passive aggressive, but I learned eventually after getting some experience in the role is that the data engineering honestly was treated as a second class citizen, <laughs> even though the title has data engineer, engineer in it, software engineers are obviously treated as software engineers. The data engineering role was always considered a second class citizen when compared to a software engineering role. Um, the pay wasn't the same and a lot of it translated into the pay and the type of opportunities that you would get. And although it wasn't affecting my day-to-day -day job, I just quickly realized that, three, so I, this was back in 2014, and I quickly realized that there's a lot of room for the data science or data job families in itself to grow and for companies to kind of get educated on. Um, but it was pretty obvious that data engineers were treated second-class citizen which was unfortunate. And because of that, there, I, and which brings me to th my third point, I didn't see a lot of growth opportunities. Um, and the way I would evaluate what are the growth opportunities, I would see other senior people that are working in the data engineering da domain. And at that time, I didn't see any principal data engineers. I didn't see any data engineering managers. I did not see any data engineering directors or VPs. And so it almost seemed like it was kind of like a dead end career where you go to a senior data engineer. And after that, if you're exceptional, you will get to principal. But then there is it kind of seemed like a dead end career after the principal IC role. And for me, I always knew that I want to pursue a people management role. So for me, it seemed like it would be a difficult path to pursue, especially if I'm not even enjoying the work. It's how, how can I stay 
for so many years in this role. Um, so for me, that was also one of the one of the reasons to kind of like look outside and again like this was back in 2014 2015 so many things have changed data engineering actually has picked up quite a bit since then um, but i don't know if i still see a lot of senior management um, who are coming from a data engineering background so and even if you look for a um, job on if you do job search for data engineers you probably won't come across a lot of management opportunities in the data engineering as well so that was another thing that for me was super obvious and my last reason which was actually the biggest one out of all of these things like there's no job family that is perfect right so things that i mentioned previously sure like there's no job family that is like 100 percent perfect like so there's always going to be some goods and some bads at the end of the day it's like up to you which ones you want to pick but for me like um the biggest reason i ended up transitioning out of the data engineering is because i got exposed to uh the data science world um i worked on a few projects on the side while i was working as a data engineer and i actually realized that i actually enjoyed doing a lot more like a data science uh, data scientist focus work. So at that point, I realized that I actually do want to transition out of um, data engineering and I want to pursue a data scientist role. Um, and again, like at that point, I didn't know what, how I'm going to get there or who's going to help me or what I'm going to learn and what I'm going to do. Um, so it wasn't like very clear to me, but it was what was clear to me is that I do want to transition out of the data engineering and get into a data scientist role. Um, and I've talked about it de in detail in some of my other videos, how I made that transition. You can like see a bunch of videos on my page. I'll probably link some up here, uh, which you can watch later. But for me, like these were some of the few things that kind of made me quit data engineering and transition out. Um, now, I do want to say that having a data engineering background, understanding how the data architect, the ETL process and where everything lives actually made me a better data scientist than the rest of my peers who didn't come from a data engineering background. So I it wasn't it's not like that the, the experience that I had as a data engineer was useless. It actually made me a better data scientist. So um, maybe I'll talk about it in a different video, like how my data engineering background helped my data scientist career. But in this video, I will end it here. And um, yeah, so let me know if you are currently working in the data engineering domain, what are your thoughts on the job family? Or if you're interested, if you're if you are trying to get into data engineering, or if you transition from data engineering to data science, what has your experience been like? And again, I didn't mean this video to like bash data engineering job family, um, so do not get offended. Uh, this is just my personal experience and things that I personally experienced in the industry that led me to transition. Uh, all right, with that, I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in another video. Have a good one. Bye.